A network is an interconnection of computers, workstations and peripherals. It facilitates the transfer of information and sharing of resources between a number of users. These resources include peripheral devices such as printers, scanners. Networks can be categorized as per the geographical area that they cover. The different types of networks are local area network that is LAN, campus area network that is CAN, metropolitan area network that is MAN, wide area network that is WAN. In this lesson, you will be able to explain the history of computer networks that is ARPANET. Explain the need of networks. Explain types of computer networks. Explain layers of open system interconnection, that is, OSI model. Explain network selection criteria. Explain standard organizations. A local area network, that is LAN, is a computer network that spans over a small area. It connects computers and workstations to share data and resources such as printers or faxes. LAN is restricted to a small area such as home, office or college. Local area networks are classified on the basis on which data is transferred within the network. A campus area network that is CAN is made up of two or more LANs within a limited area. It can cover many buildings in an area. The main feature of CAN is that all of the computers that are connected together have some relationship to each other. CAN is larger than a LAN but smaller than wide area network that is WAN. A metropolitan area network that is MAN is an interconnection of networks in a city. MAN acts as a high-speed network to allow sharing resources within a city. It is formed by connecting remote LANs through telephone or radio links. The best example is the television cable network in cities. A wide area network covers a wide geographical area which includes multiple computers or LANs. It connects computers through public networks like telephone system, microwave, satellite link or a leased line. Most of the WANs use leased lines for internet access as they provide faster data transfer. The open system interconnection, that is OSI model, is an internationally recognized set of standards developed by the International Standards Organization, that is ISO, for communication between computer systems. The OSI model is a conceptual model that has seven layers. Each layer of the OSI model performs distinct functions on the data in accordance with the previous layer functions. The different layers of the OSI model are physical layer, data link layer, network layer, transport layer, session layer, presentation layer, application layer. Physical layer is the first or the bottommost layer of the OSI model. This layer is used to establish or terminate a connection to a communication medium. It also defines the electrical and mechanical specifications like cables, connectors and signaling options of the medium. Physical layer receives data from the upper layer called the data link layer. It converts the received data into bit stream. The data is then transmitted through the medium to the receiver. At the receiving end, physical layer receives the data in bit format. It forwards the data to the data link layer. The responsibilities of the physical layer are Media characteristics It defines the characteristics of the interface that is used for connecting the devices. Encoding It defines the type of encoding being used. Transmission rate. It defines the transmission rate of bits. Defines the transmission mode between two devices. The transmission mode specifies the direction of signal flow. Defines the way in which devices are connected to the appropriate link. 
defines how the devices are connected to form a network. Data link layer handles data transfer between the network and physical layers. It receives data from the network layer, adds a header and trailer to the data and passes data to the physical layer. At the receiver, it receives data from the physical layer, removes the header and trailer and passes the data to the network layer. The responsibilities of the data link layer are Framing It organizes the bits into data units called frames. Physical addressing it adds header to the frame which contains the physical address of the sender and or receiver. Access control. It provides access to the link to a single device. Flow control. It synchronizes the rate of transmission between two nodes. Error control. If a frame is corrupted, the data link layer retransmits it. It also prevents frame duplication. This is accomplished using the trailer. Network layer is the third layer of the OSI model. The data unit at this layer is known as a packet. The network layer is not needed if the two communicating devices lie on the same network. However, when the two devices are on different networks, network layer is essential for the source to destination delivery of packets. The network layer receives data from the transport layer. It adds a header to the data and passes data to the data link layer. At the receiver side, network layer receives data from data link layer. It detaches the header from the data and passes data to the transport layer. The responsibilities of the network layer are Logical addressing. It adds header to the data that includes the logical address, that is, IP address, of the source and destination. Routing. It defines a proper route for the packets to reach the destination. Routing can be of two types, static or dynamic. Handling congestion issues. It is the responsibility of the network layer to control any congestion problems that may result due to excess traffic. Internetworking. It keeps a check on the interconnectivity of different networks. Internetworking means connecting two or more computer networks together. Transport layer is the fourth layer of the OSI model. The data unit at this layer is known as a segment. The transport layer ensures that the entire message reaches an order and handles error control and flow control at the source to destination level. Transport layer receives data from the session layer. It divides the data into segments and passes these segments to the network layer. At the receiver, it receives packets from the network layer. It detaches headers from them, reassembles the segments into the original message and passes that message to the session layer. The responsibilities of the transport layer are Service point addressing It transfers data from a specific process on one computer to a specific process on another computer. Segmentation and reassembly It reassembles the segments of the message at the receiver end. Connection control It provides either connection-oriented or connectionless service. Flow control it performs flow control, which takes place end-to-end. -end. Error control. It also performs error checking, which takes place end-to-end. -end. Segments are retransmitted to achieve error correction. Session layer is the fifth layer of the OSI model. This layer establishes, manages, synchronizes and terminates connection between the computers. It also sets up, coordinates and terminates interactions and dialogues between communicating devices. It provides either half duplex or full duplex service. Session layer receives data from the presentation layer. It adds a header and synchronization bits to the data and passes data to the transport layer. At the receiver side, 
Session layer receives data from the transport layer. It detaches header and synchronization bits from the data and passes data to the presentation layer. The responsibilities of the session layer are Dialog control It sets up sessions between devices. Control is exercised by using a token. Only the user that has the token can send data. Synchronization It synchronizes the sessions. Synchronization bits are added for this purpose. Presentation layer is the sixth layer of the OSI model. This layer deals with the syntax and semantics of the data exchanged between two devices. It transforms the data into a format that will be accepted by the application layer. Presentation layer receives data from application layer. It adds a header to the data and passes data to the session layer. At the receiver side, the presentation layer receives data from the session layer. It detaches the header from the data and passes data to the application layer. The responsibilities of the presentation layer are Translation It handles interoperability between encoding systems used by different computer systems. Encryption It adds security by encrypting data. At the receiver, it decrypts the data. Compression It compresses data to save bandwidth. Application layer is the seventh layer of the OSI model. It provides a means for the user to access information on the network using an application. It also supports services such as electronic mail, remote file access and transfer and shared database management. The services provided by the application layer are Network Virtual Terminal. Using this service, a user can log on to a computer that is remotely connected on the network. File Transfer, Access and Management, that is FTAM. Using this service, a user can access and manage files in a remote host. Mail Services. Using this service, emails can be forwarded to another device. Message Handling System, that is MHS, is the OSI protocol used to transfer mail over the Internet. Directory Services. This service provides information about objects such as people, organizations, programs, and files. A network is selected based on certain network criteria. During the network selection, it is important to consider these criteria for improving network functionality. These factors are performance, reliability, security, performance. The network should provide the desired performance. Organizations may need to upgrade their networks as per their requirements. Hence, it is important that the network should be flexible, not permanent. The network should be designed in such a way that it is possible to expand or upgrade it in the future. Reliability The network must provide some degree of reliability. The reliability of a network is determined by how frequently the network fails and how much time it takes to recover from a failure. The network monitoring systems and network devices are necessary for making the network reliable. Security The network must provide a certain degree of security. This is achieved by using antivirus software and firewalls to prevent unauthorized access to the network. Backup tools are used to safeguard important data. Standard organizations develop, maintain, improve, amend and revise standards. They develop technical or non-technical standards. These organizations can be government or non-government organizations. In this lesson, you learnt that Computer network enables the user to share data and network resources. Network allows remote users to communicate with each other. Computer networks are divided into LAN, CAN, MAN and WAN. LAN is a small network and easy to create. OSI model has seven layers and provides standards 
for communication.